A complete Coolrite cooling system service has many benefits. It can help rapidly remove rust and scale deposits, improve the flow of coolant, restore heat transfer, prevent corrosion, reduce wear, improve lubrication, clean and condition seals, and even extend the life of the cooling system. In this video, we'll show you how to perform a complete coolant exchange utilizing the Coolrite 5460 coolant exchange machine. The 5460 offers many advantages. A complete service will take less than 15 minutes, maximizing your shop labor time and reducing customer wait times. With the 5460, you will not need to disconnect the upper radiator hose. There are no internal pumps to clog or fail, and it operates using only compressed air, no electricity or batteries to connect to. The Coolrite 5460 is both technician and environmentally friendly, so you won't need to worry about spilling coolant on the shop floor. Before beginning the service, make sure you read and understand Coolrite 5460's instruction sheet, MSDS, and any related tech bulletins. Always road test the vehicle before performing the service. Be sure to turn off the engine and chalk the tires. Make sure you have proper ventilation or a suitable exhaust hose connected. Remember to wear approved personal protective equipment and also apply protective covering to the vehicle, including fender covers. Be sure to set the Coolrite 5460's foot brake before beginning the service. When operating the 5460, it's important to understand that the small silver arrow at the opposite end of each handle is what indicates the position of the valve. For example, this valve is in the closed or off position. Now let's begin. To obtain the maximum benefit from your coolant exchange, begin the service by utilizing Cool Right Quick Clean. With the engine off and cool, open the radiator cap and add one bottle of Cool Right Quick Clean to the system. Reinstall the cap, start the engine, and turn the vehicle's heater temperature controls to high. Quick Clean will circulate throughout the cooling system, safely loosening rust and other contaminants so that these will be removed with the dirty coolant during the exchange process. After allowing Quick Clean to circulate for five minutes, turn off the engine. Use a shop towel to open the cap carefully. Note, a pressure relief process is described later in this video. You're now ready to begin the coolant exchange. Connect a shop air hose to the machine. Turn the machine's green main air switch to the open position. Turn the orange air control switch to the vacuum position. And turn the silver tank control valve to tank one. With the radiator cap removed, start the vehicle's engine and place the cone assembly into the radiator neck. Important note, the cone must remain on the radiator neck during the complete service in order to maintain vacuum. Also, if you're performing the coolant exchange service from an expansion tank, insert an extension hose into the cone and then place it into the expansion tank. Again, this cone must remain in place on the expansion tank during the entire service. Verify the vacuum gauge on top of tank number one reads at least 15 to 20 inches of vacuum. To exchange the waste coolant, turn the yellow tank one valve to the open position. The dirty used coolant will immediately flow into the waste coolant cylinder. When the coolant no longer appears to be flowing through the hose, rev the engine two or three times. This will remove the additional coolant that may still be in the system. Then turn the silver tank control valve to the hold position. Turn the yellow tank one valve to the closed position and turn the green main air valve to the closed position. To fill the system with new coolant, turn the yellow tank number two valve to the open position and turn the silver tank control valve to tank number two. New coolant will immediately begin to flow into the cooling system. When the coolant stops flowing through the hose, the system is full. Turn the yellow tank number two valve to the closed position. For maximum protection, add Coolrite cooling system treatment to the radiator. Don't overfill the system. Coolrite will help neutralize acids, prevent corrosion, and help extend the cooling system's life. Replace the radiator cap and top off the overflow tank if needed. Then turn the engine off. The Coolrite cooling system service is now complete. For optimum results, this service should be performed according to the vehicle manufacturer's specifications, usually every 24 months or 30,000 miles, although this may vary by coolant type. We would now like to discuss a few optional procedures that you might find helpful. Pressure relief process. Before beginning the coolant exchange process, it's very important to relieve pressure in the vehicle's cooling system. With the engine off, connect the suction wand to the cone and then connect the open end of the suction wand to the overflow hose. Connect a shop air hose to the machine. Turn the machine's green main air switch to the open position. 
Turn the orange air control switch to the vacuum position and turn the silver tank control valve to tank number one. Verify that the vacuum gauge on top of tank number one reads 15 to 20 inches of vacuum and then turn the yellow tank one valve, which controls the waste coolant cylinder, to the open position. Now slowly open the radiator cap so that all of the pressure vents to the machine. When the pressure is relieved, close the yellow tank number one valve and turn the silver tank control valve back to the hold position. You're now ready to add quick clean and begin the exchange. Water rinsing process. If the coolant system is extremely dirty, you might want to include an optional water rinsing process after you drain the dirty coolant and before you refill the system with new coolant. To do so, follow the coolant exchange process as described earlier. And then as soon as you have removed the old coolant, Close the yellow tank number one valve and then turn the yellow tank number three valve to the open position. Turn the silver tank control valve to tank number three position and turn the green main air switch to the closed position. This will fill the system with water. When the system's full, close the yellow tank three valve and rev the engine two to three times to circulate the water. To remove the water, turn the green main air valve to the open position, turn the silver tank control valve to tank number one and then turn the yellow tank number one valve to the open position. When water no longer appears to be flowing through the hose, rev the engine two or three times. This will help to remove additional water that may still be in the system. Then turn the silver tank control valve to the hold position, turn the yellow tank number one valve to the closed position, and turn the green main air valve to the closed position. Now you can continue the rest of the service, refilling the vehicle with fresh clean coolant as demonstrated earlier in this video. Filling the machine with coolant. To fill tank number two with new coolant, remove the cover at the top of tank two. Using a funnel, pour in new coolant mixture until the tank is filled. Replace the cover and tighten the washer, but don't over tighten. If you wish to fill tank number three with water, remove the cover at the top of tank number three. You can simply use a hose to fill the tank with water. When the tank is filled, replace the cover and tighten the washer. Emptying the waste tank. When the waste tank is full, you should empty it into a proper coolant recycling container. To extract the used coolant, turn the green main air valve to the open position and turn the silver tank control valve to the tank one position. Turn the yellow tank number one valve to the open position and then slowly turn the orange air control valve to the disposal position. The used coolant will begin to evacuate from tank number one into the receptacle. When the waste tank is empty, turn the orange air control valve back to the vacuum position, close the yellow tank number one valve, turn the silver tank control valve back to the hold position, and turn the green main air control valve off. Brought to you by Run Right Car Care Maintenance Products. For more information, please visit our website, www.run-right.com.